Hello, welcome to Nourish Technologies. This is Sudhakar Sharma. We are continuing our ASP.NET MVC video sessions and uh, in the previous topic we discussed about how do we handle layouts for MVC application. So, in uh, our previous video session, we learnt what is a layout, how do we create a layout and how do we use the layout for our pages. Now, let us see some more extensions to that layout. So, I will give a glance and if you are new to this video, you can uh, watch the previous video where we detailedly discussed about layouts. In uh, our project, we added a folder called shared into views and into shared folder we added a view underscore site dot cshtml and uh, in this view we designed a UI. So, this UI is for accessing and displaying the details. The same UI will be used for the entire application so that the appearance will be uniform. So, what we designed in this UI, let us run this and see. Actually, in the previous video session, we have seen how to create a controller and uh, with actions home, about and contact. We added views for home, about and contact. In these views, we have uh, implemented the layout so that whenever the page is rendered, it will use the layout and uh, put the contents within the layout defined. So, let us run this and see initially how the layout looks like and uh, we will also observe what additional functionalities to perform. Yeah, this is the page that we designed a layout and a navigation with the home about and contact. So, we are using the same layout for entire application. Now, let us see what is the additional functionalities that we can define. Actually, so we learnt about a function render body. This indicates the location where the resulting markup must be rendered. Now, if I want to render multiple sections in a page, how to define multiple sections in a page? That means, I want to customize the head section, so that I can later add scripts, styles individually for every page. Then how we can make the head section customizable in every page? So, generally in ASP.NET web forms, you have content placeholders you can use as many as content placeholders you want in the body or in the head section. Now, in MVC, the render body function defines where the body content should be rendered. The additional sections are defined by using render section. So, render section is a function which is used to define the additional sections to be implemented and customized in your page how to configure these additional sections. For example, see, I will go to the layout page. Our layout page is site.cshtml. In this layout page, so already in the body section, we are implementing this render body. Now, I want the head section also to be customized. Then what we will do is here, in the head section, we will use a function render section and I will define a name for the section. Section name is uh, some head section. Okay. Now, this head section whatever you define is mandatory to implement. If you want this section as an optional section to be implemented, then you can uh, use an uh, required attribute and set it to so false it is a boolean property. That means, required false indicates that this is an optional section. So, to be implemented, if you want you can implement this section. So, what I want to do is 
when user invokes about page. So, in the about page, I want to implement that header section, head section. So, how do we implement the sections? That means, about page needs some styles, about page needs some scripts that are to be rendered in the head section of the page. Then how you can render that? Already we have an area for head section defined with the render section and the section name is head. Okay. Now let us go to the about page and how to implement the sections that you have defined in layout. To implement any section that is defined in the layout, we have to use a function, we have to use section. Section and what is that section name? The section name is head section and to implement that head section, we need to configure the functionality as a block. So, what you want to render in that head section, you have to define that here. So, I will put a style. In the style, I will define a heading 2 and wherever that heading 2 is there, we will define some background color. So, as some blue and uh, some color as uh, white and uh, text align to center. Yeah. Now, at the same time in the head section, I want to implement some script and this script should show a basic alert. alert. So, alert displaying. So, uh, about about Naresh ID, okay. that is a general script defined. So, our intention is the section with head defined in this about page will contain two elements, one is script and style. These elements are rendered in the head section defined. So, where the head section is defined, you can see in a layout page the head section is defined in the page head area. So, whatever you defined in about, so through this uh, section element, so it is going to render everything inside the head section of the page. Let us run this and see. That means, we defined a head section and we are implementing the styles and scripts into that head section. Let us see. I will run the page again here. Okay, and uh, let us see, home page is not implementing the head section because we made the head section as optional by specifying required as false. That means, it is not mandatory to implement that section in every page. So, only about page is implementing that head section by adding some extra styles and a script. You can observe that the home page that is rendered is not using any head section, is not implementing any head section. So, home is normal, but when I go to contact, still contact is also not implementing, but when I go to about, it shows an alert about Naresh ID and I say ok and you can see the styles are affected. Let us go to the source, right click and view paste source. You can observe that the styles and scripts are exactly rendered in the head section of the page. That means, our view is using a layout and into the layout we are implementing the head section. So, where we rendered styles and scripts. So, if you want to define multiple sections in a page, you can do that. So, by using a function render section. Let us implement another section and see. For example, I will go to the design in the design wherever the body is rendered here i will uh, take i will uh, remove this and i will put a div and uh, this div will have an height style put height as uh, we will define the height as uh, 200 pixels 200 pixel is the height fine in this div we will use that render body right render body is defined in the div okay and uh, i am adding another div below this and in this div i will put style so height height as uh, 
100 pixels because overall the height of our row is 300 we will define 100 pixel for the height. Now very important is this is the area where I want to render some advertisements some ads to be rendered there. So how I, we can render advertisements means how we can define a section here so that I can use that section for rendering advertisements and every page will not implement that ads area. So in that case we will use render section and uh, we define as ads section and uh, we will make required as false. So it is not mandatory to implement that section and uh, if any page has to implement this section how it will implement let us see. Let us go to the contact page in contact page I want to implement that uh, advertisements area. So we have to use a helper section and the section name is ads section ok ads section has to use a simple image uh, src is equal to so we will put some images in uh, images I will put images into images we will add uh, some pepsi pepsi dot jpg and uh, with width so we will use the width of the same uh, defined for that div actually the width is 550 pixels so i will make that width as as uh, some 400 pixels okay then height i will just set the height to 100 uh, fine and uh, one more is uh, i will put this div uh, in a div with align to center and i will add that image into that area that means we are implementing an advertisement section where we are displaying the advertisements. So I will add a new folder into this project so that advertisement to show. So I will add a new folder called images into the folder we will add some existing item and uh, I have some images related to advertisements. We will uh, add that image here so a pepsi or reliance okay that is the path defined here so we are accessing and using that image okay now similarly in the home page also I want to implement that advertisement section so it is not mandatory to implement in every location so if I want to implement then I will use section and section name is ads section and uh, here I need to keep a div with align to center and in the div I will put an image source as uh, images yeah in the images we will put uh, r digital dot jpg so width is some 400 and height is 100 fine. Now we will set in contact also the image path so till slash images and all that fine. So, we designed two sections in our layout one is head another one is advertisements. So important is it is not mandatory to implement only two pages are implementing this ads section one is home another one is contact let us see how that displays let us start with the start with the home page yeah you can see the home page is implementing that advertisement section and uh, about is not implement that section so about is not having that advertisement area contact is implementing and it is having that definition. Now here one more important point is if any page is not implementing that section you can verify whether that section is implemented or not if not then you can put some alternative content for example about is not implementing that section. If it is not implementing the section you can put some alternative content instead of what they have not defined right. So then what you can do is you can go to the layout page and this add section is not mandatory to implement if they implemented that whatever configuration they defined it will be used else we can put some default content. But first we have to know whether it is implemented or not how do we know whether that section is implemented or not we have to use a condition 
So, let us use a condition. So, I will make it required to false ok fine. Now, I will remove this, I will remove this and I will check a condition here. If there is a property, so is section defined. So, which section defined? You have to define that section. So, section is uh, adds section. If the section is defined called adds section, right? If the section is defined, then it has to render that section. Else, if the section is not defined, then what we will do is, we will put an alternative content and uh, we will just put some align to center and here I will put an option here saying that uh, I will put a simple italicized saying that adds, adds here, right. That means, we are verifying whether the section is implemented or not. If the section is implemented, then whatever they configure it will be rendered. If section is not implemented, then we will put some default content. So, that you can manage by verifying whether the section is defined or not. So, you can do that by using the function is section defined. It returns boolean true false. If the section is defined, it will implement, else it will use an alternative content there. Let us see now. Let us go to the home page. Home page is implementing the section, contact page is also implementing the section and uh, about is not implementing the section. Then let us see what happens if a section is not implemented. So, home is implementing, contact is also implementing. In about we are not implementing, then you can see an alternative comes here. That means, we can verify whether the section defined or not and we can render that alternative content. So, three important options we have to know, how do we render the body, how do we render the section and how do we implement the section by using the helper section and how do we verify whether the section is defined or not, is section defined. This is a boolean function which verifies whether the section defined or not. So, we can implement multiple sections in a layout by using render section and section helpers. So, this is how we can design a layout and we can define multiple sections into the layout. So, this is the complete scenario of working with layouts in MVC. In the next session, we will discuss about how do we handle the views. Thank you.